our brief for this shot was to create like a cafe uh, style like in um, I don't know some American cafe look and um, believe it or not we're gonna do the same lighting nothing's gonna change and we'll create the illusion of being uh, next to a window in a cafe with a background here and a chair which has hopefully will work uh, we're gonna set up right now okay so we've got a, an old uh, one of those cafe chairs you know you see in um, cafes outside or indoors got the C stand that's gonna help me um, lock in the background we'll see how this works I'm keeping it flat I'm not facing it towards the light I don't want it to the light to hit this square on and be brighter than the subject so I'm gonna keep it square to the camera so it stays on the mid-tones and doesn't give me a high light blowout. So we lock this in. For this uh, shot, we'll be shooting quite low on around 30 degree angle. I'll just look through, I'll show you on the screen how it's all looking, how I'm framing up. I'll be using the 70 to 200 mil F4 L series. Uh, probably shooting around around five six so we blow blow out the background and keep this in focus um, so um, we'll frame up and have a quick look and see how it looks so we pop the lens on so this will be a vertical shot but we'll have to leave uh, enough room for cropping um, it depends how it's going to be used so keep that in mind whenever you're doing a shot that you don't want to, uh, if you do go in and crop in tight, go give yourself a, a second shot and uh, pull out, give yourself a bit of breathing room so it can be used in different ways. Because once you go in and crop in, there's no going back, you're not gonna be able to salvage it later. All right, so we go to live view, how it's looking, and once you zoom in, the, you, get, you start to get the illusion now of wh where you are. I'll probably go a little bit higher. I want to see the coleslaw behind, behind the main shot. So we're gonna, we want to see the coleslaw. So we're going in now. So it's starting to shape up. Now we're going up. So we're pretty ready. So it's, it looks like you're actually there. So that, that, that's the main thing. So we're gonna uh, turn the live view off. That helped us frame up and do a focus point on the potato salad. Make sure you're level. And we'll be shooting at 200 ISO at 5.6 at 1 60th of a second. We'll do a shot right now. That's our first shot coming in. That's our first shot. Um, we're a little bit overexposed, so we're gonna knock it down to 100 ISO. So we knock it down to 100 ISO and do our second shot. And it's, yeah, it's looking a lot better. So I'll probably go a little bit higher, just to separate the, um, you can see there how everything's on top of each other. So I need to separate the coleslaw from the potato salad. So I'm gonna pull out and just give it an edge and go a little bit higher. A little bit higher, we go. And then I'll also push the coleslaw back. Now remember, we're doing this with one light. So it's all one window. To make it realistic, we have to um, create the illusion that you are in a coffee shop and it will be only one window there and the light pouring in so it actually looks it actually looks genuine like you're there so let's do one more shot so I've zoomed in a little bit closer and yeah that looks a lot better you can see the difference there from the edge I've zoomed in a bit more went a little bit higher I moved the coleslaw back it's giving me an edge, so it's defining my, my hero that I want. 
That's our hero salad. Get rid of any other masks you've got. And here you see how the chicken's gone a bit dark. You can actually uh, quickly uh, do a mask on there and just bring up the values on that chicken just so it doesn't block up too much in the shadows. Now, it's important that, um, that you, do, uh, you know, do your readings, make sure you know what you're doing. The only way you're gonna learn is by actual, actually measuring what you're doing. Now, I always use a light meter because it gives me a true value of the light. It doesn't get, into, it doesn't get influenced by anything around it. So I do a highlight reading and that's giving me F11. So that's F11. And then I do a shadow reading. And that's giving me F4.3. So I have to figure out where I wanna go. So I'm gonna go in between the two. So I'm gonna shoot at 5.6, at 1 60th of a second at 100 ASO. So that's our starting point. I chose 5.6 at 1 60th of a second at 100 ASO because you can see here the difference if I shoot for the highlights or even if I just open up a little bit, you can see how dark the shot gets. So you need to open up and actually expose for the shadows and that's what gives it the look and opens up the highlights and you get the look you're seeing now on the screen. And of course, do use a grey card to start off with. So we put our grey card in and then do a quick shot with our grey card. And that will give us a starting point again for a true white balance. But again, you might like it colder or warmer. So it's really your preference. Okay, all these shots you're seeing on the screen uh, were, were created with the same equipment uh, you're seeing now, a diffuser, a sailcloth, one flash, and we didn't use any reflectors, uh, bounce any light back, because they wanted the mood, the client wanted a little bit of mood, but the mood was created mainly with the props, not the lighting. Only the shadow was uh, not filled in, as usual when we do high key lighting. Uh, there is a little bit of white around the room, and that probably helped kick some light back into the shadow area, but that was it, one light, um, and very simple setup. This video will take you through how to set up on a budget. You will get the same results as, you, as you've seen on my channel, all the product and food photography I've done, all shot with pro gear. Well, on this video, we're gonna get the same results with a second hand gear from eBay and you'll be able to set up a very simple setup in your studio or location or your home and get these results you're seeing on the screen now. Everything was bought on eBay. You can see it all here, the prices, uh, it's all current. So have a look on eBay and kit yourself up with a great setup. Um, and it's probably all under the price of an iPhone, a good iPhone. So, um, yeah, keep, have a look at this video, follow my instructions, set yourself up, the setup you're seeing on the screen now, do exactly the same, and I guarantee you'll get the same results.